sometimes when things aren't going right, we, we tend to associate who we are with how our life is going. So like if our life is going bad, then we're bad or, uh, you know, if our, if our life sucks and we suck, if it's going great then we're great or whatever. And I think one of the best things to do when things aren't going good and, and you start to associate yourself with that is to study the times when you have been successful. That's the best way to pull yourself out of that emotionally is to look back at times where, you know, things did go right and why did they go right and how did they go right and what did you learn from that so that then you can apply that to what's going on in your life now. When I played college football, every year our coach would test us uh, before the season to make sure we came in in shape and we have to run these uh, this this test called 10, it was uh, called the 300s, we have to run 10 of them in a certain time and one year uh, I didn't pass and then the coach gave me another week to, to train so that I can test again and then hopefully pass or else I would have to get up at 5 o'clock every morning and uh, run on the Stairmaster and nobody wants to do that at 5 o'clock in the morning. So the way I had been training is that I just been running sprints and then running laps around the track and then I realized that uh, my legs got heavy but my wind was good so my cardio was good but my legs felt like lead by the time I got to the you know the 10th uh, 300 so I realized that I had to change my training from running laps and sprints to running stairs and hills so I could build up the strength in my legs now I wouldn't have known to make that adjustment had I already not had a plan in place and not studied what I did before and wasn't aware of what was wrong uh, um, with uh, why I didn't pass the 10 300s. So do the same thing for your life. It's like if things aren't going the way you want them to, look at how you did in the past. How did you make things happen the way you wanted them to happen? Did you dictate the pace? And that's also another reason why uh, I encourage you guys to journal so that you can keep a written record of, of you know what's going on in your life so that you can look back and go, oh, I forgot about this time where I did this. This is very easy for us to get about our successes. And a lot of us oftentimes just remember the times things went wrong and we forget about all the wonderful things that we've done with our life. So you want a journal or, you know, voice record or there's this great website called Evernote where uh, you can uh, record. You can either uh, write it in or voice memo it in and it'll keep track of all it in different folders for you. Uh, I hope this helps you guys out a lot, and I'll see you tomorrow.